Hello everybody, it's Mrs Townend here. Hope you're all really, really well. It's my turn today to read you a story. So I've chosen one of my very, very favourite picture books. It's by Oliver Jeffers and it's called Lost and Found. I hope you really enjoy it. So this is Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy and one day he found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where the penguin had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad and the boy thought it must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin had come from, but the birds ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered the penguins came from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. They packed everything they would need and together they pushed the rowboat out to sea. They rowed south for many, many days and nights as well with the boy telling the stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything that the boy said. They floated through good weather and bad when the waves were as big as mountains. Until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly, it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. The boy said goodbye and floated away but as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own and the more he thought, the more he realised he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost, he was just lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen except the wind and the waves. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see the penguin. And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way.